Welcome back. Parent involvement and support in a child's education can dramatically increase their success in school. Now, there's a nationwide organization, the Parent Institute for Quality Education, or PICA as it's called, whose goal is to connect families with their schools and their communities and, consequently, help advance their child's education. Joining us this morning is Alma Elisa, Executive Director for PICA's Fresno Regional Office, and Adan Garcia, a parent from the program. So welcome both Adan and welcome Alma to our program. Thank, Thank you. you. So the purpose here is to engage the parent and help the child, right? Yes. So tell me about these programs. Well, I think there's a lot of programs that help kids um, in tutoring, help them in their education, but there's a lot of par programs that really focus on helping parents help their own kids. Mm -hmm. um, and we really focus on working with immigrant families because mm -hmm. a lot of the times they, don't, they know that they don't know the school system of this country. So those are the first ones that usually tend to want to get involved in this program. Um, but we open it to every single parent. Our pr curriculum has been taught in 16 different languages. And so we really try to get parents to say, I want to take the time to get involved in their children's education so that they can see how they can support them and motivate them. And I think that translates to kids being more motivated to go to college. You, you mentioned that the focus being immigrant families. Do you find that a lot of them are feeling disconnected with this new community that they live in and probably don't know how to help their child, maybe are a little bit apprehensive about approaching teachers yes. and school administrators and I whatnot? think that that's what is our hook to get them. Uh -huh. We make a personal phone call for every non-English speaking parent because they're more receptive to our calls. And we have parents that took the course that sort of give their testimony. And one of the first things that we ask is, how familiar are you with the school system of this country? And that's the first thing they say is no. You know, they uh -huh. don't know. And so they're really excited that we're going to provide this program in their language. And it is not a class. They're workshops. They're more dialogues that we can give them information as vice versa. So they are really um, interested in, in helping their kids. They just don't know how. Okay. And so basically these classes, as you said, they're more like a workshop. So it's not like they sit there and crack open the books. And, no, and no. So, so what is it exactly that, they're, that, you're, that you're teaching them? We, well, we go through, you know, we have different curriculums. We have elementary, middle school, and high school. So we focus on elementary's more prevention on what they can do, the importance of reading. Middle school, the whole transition, and then high school, more it's the more advanced, what is the A through G in terms like that. Mm -hmm. But they're really more dialogues. I think we really want parents to know that we're going to learn from them as well as them from us. Mm -hmm. So we teach them what they can do at home to support the school system, and then what are the terms that they need to learn in school, mm -hmm. how to have an effective conference with the teacher. We role model one with a counselor as well so that they can feel more prepared so when they go to the counselor or the teacher, they know what types of questions to ask. I see. And then, I know that you're a parent who's been involved in this program, recently graduated from the program. So tell me, why did you decide that this was important for your family? Um, to me, I feel it's very important uh, because, mm, first of all, it, I want the best for my son. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when I got the call that they were going to have a, a course or a class on how we can help our son uh, achieve his goal of going to a university, I, I was very interested. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to expect, and to tell you the truth, I didn't expect much. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up here, and so I thought I knew what I needed to do. Right. However, I was totally wrong, mm -hmm. and, and that program was, was very uh, educational. What did you learn? Well, what did I learn is uh, that sometimes the child doesn't have to do it on his own. Mm -hmm. You know, he has us there, and how can we help? by like uh, uh, Alma said, giving them uh, the support. Mm -hmm. And at the same time too, the program had taught us what the requirements were okay. for him to move on to the next step Okay. and to keep him focused into. Okay. And so maybe maybe you don't know a lot about the math assignment that he's working on, but the whole point is to, to be there and to kind of nurture that and to let them know, hey, you can, these are some of the resources that you have, so kind of to help him in other ways? Yes, and that was the, the main thing, too, is that gives us, uh, it helped us uh, understand what he needed to do. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I know that I was recently, or not recently, but quite a few years ago, a part of one of these graduations was it was able to meet some of the parents that are involved. And you know what really struck me, and I mentioned this to you earlier, Alma, is that many of these parents are really making a sacrifice by going to these classes because they go. Is it is it weekly or is it once a week? Once a week for an hour and a half. Right. So they they put in their full day's work and then they come in here. Sometimes you know out of a, a packing shed, sometimes out of whatever job they may have. Some, many of them were that I met were farm workers that were coming. 
opinion yes. off the field, mm -hmm. didn't even have time to go home and change, but they wanted to be there because mm -hmm. this was so important to them, right? Yes, it, I think it's beautiful for us to see that um, parents will make that commitment. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's sort of like a disconnect. There's mm -hmm. a lot of teachers that feel that because parents are not going to school, that means they're not, they, they're, they don't really care or they're not putting uh, education as a priority. Mm -hmm. But I think parents are afraid of the school because they don't know what to ask. And at least for the Latino parents, they told us, well, in our country, we don't question teachers because mm -hmm. then that's sort of disrespectful. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a, a different way for them to learn. And once they know what they got to do, they really do it. And I think we use an analogy, if your son went in a hole, would, would you do everything possible to get him out? And the answer is yes, of course. So that's exactly how we say. And I mean, it's so sad to see the statistics of how many Latinos and African American students are going to the prison system mm -hmm. versus the education mm -hmm. system. So I think once parents see not the numbers, but their children, then they get to say, I have to make this commitment, even though they don't go home and change, they go straight from work Excellent. to the classes. All right. Thank you so much, Alma. I wish you much success on the program, and congratulations, Alan, on your recent graduation. Thank we you wish much. you much success as well as your son. Middle school, right, you said? Yes. Okay, excellent. All right, thank you, two of you, for being on our program. Thank, thank you. you. And, of course, to learn more about BK, the program, or, you can, or how to sign up for classes, you can call 277-9858. You can also go to their website at www.